Hello, my name is Kate Hedberg. I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. I'm going to show you how to create a custom cable in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. I'm in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical application. I'm going to start by being in my Library tab. Here, I can access all of my managers, including my Cable Reference Manager. This manager allows me to control all of my existing cable references and to create new ones from scratch. As with all of the other managers in Electrical, there's two tabs to view classifications and filters. Inside of the Classifications tab, there are different types of classes listed. I'm going to save myself some clicks by pre-selecting the category I want this new cable to be in. I'm selecting the AWG class and going up to the upper left-hand corner of the dialog and clicking the New Reference button. This opens the New Cable Reference dialog. This lets me specify all the lovely little details of my custom cable. As with any new part or cable in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, you always need to specify a manufacturer and a reference. For the purposes of this video, I'm making up a part number for this cable and saying Go Engineer manufactures this. I can either select an existing manufacturer in my library or type in a new one in the box. Note that my class is already defined as AWG, but I can select a different one or a subclass if I want. I'll actually select the 20 to 29 AWG subclass since this cable is going to fall in that category. I'm going to leave the article number field blank, but this is the field I would use if I had an internal part number for this cable. For the library, I'm going to put it in my Go Engineer custom library. Again, this field is not absolutely necessary, but is helpful for organizing my libraries. I'm jumping down to the description box to type in a general description of this awesome Go Engineer cable. Feel free to fill out supplier information. I'm not going to, but you do you. I'm jumping down into the characteristics section. Here you can define some of the more physical properties of the cable. When you are defining the conductor gauge, remember that the size standard dropdown provides the units for the gauge. The length field can be filled out manually, but since I have the SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D add-in, this field will populate after I use it in a project and route the cable in 3D. The diameter field will be used to determine the 3D routed diameter of the cable. I'm just going to say that this cable is going to have a diameter of 4 millimeters. The color will also determine what the routed cable will look like in 3D. The bend radius will limit how tightly this cable can bend when you're routing it in 3D. I don't happen to know the bend radius of this fictional cable, so I'm going to leave that blank. The user data tab at the top just allows for additional descriptive fields if necessary. Here in the cable cores tab, you can add and define the cores in your cable. Imagine that. I'm going to add four cores. I've held down the shift key on my keyboard and group selected all four cores. With them all selected, I can click in the gauge column and type in 22, and that should populate for all four cores. Remember the units were defined back in the properties tab. You can also specify what type of core each one is. I'm switching this last core to a shield type. Electrical will understand this is really a three conductor cable that has a shield, not a four conductor cable. Additionally, you can set the color for each one of the cable cores. I'll pick black, brown, red, and green-yellow for no other reason than this is my video and I feel like it. At this point, I've included all of the relevant information and can click the OK button. When I go into the 20 to 29 AWG subclass, you can see all the different options I have in my library. Our beautiful new cable is up there at the top. Remember, you can always use the Filters tab if you have any trouble picking it out. Notice under the Conductor Number column that it's listed as a three-conductor cable with a shield. And I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.